We learn about how Abraham Avinu and Sarai Imenu, they had their first child. His name was Yitzchak. The angels came. He has three guests, Abraham Avinu. And they tell him, Next year, Shova Shuv Elecha, Ka'it Haya, next year, Sarah Ben. Sarah is going to have a child. This is the, the promise that they gave him. Now you can imagine, Abraham Avinu is a 99 year old man. Sarah Imenu at the time is 89. When he was born, when Yitzchak was born, she was 90 years old. It took 90 years for Sarah Imenu to have a baby. Most people would give up. How many of us would continue? And yet, Abraham Avinu and Sarah Imenu, they never gave up. They continued to daven and to daven again, over and over. As the Pasuk says, Kaveh Hashem Chazak. You should hope unto Hashem strongly. Let your heart be strong. Hashem And hope to Hashem again. If you prayed to Hashem and you were not answered, there's a secret. What should you do? Pray again. This is what Sarah Imenu and Abraham Avinu did. They davened and davened and davened. A person should never give up from davening. The Gemara in Brachot says, Le'olam, ali t'yayesh adam ina rahamim. A person should never give up from asking Hashem for mercy. The Gemara in Brachot says, there was a king, his name was Chizkiyahu. And he wasn't visiting the Prophet at the time, his name was Yeshayahu. And Yeshayahu wasn't visiting him, back and forth. Hashem said, I have an edza. I'm going to make Chizkiyahu sick, and Yeshayahu is going to be forced to go visit him. And surely that's what happened. The king became very sick. And the Prophet came to visit him. And the Prophet came with a very scary message. You are dead in this world and you will not live in the next world. This is what the Prophet tells him. So he tells him why? Because you didn't, have, you, didn't, you, didn't have, uh, you didn't procreate. You didn't have children. He says, because I know from me not good people are going to come. He says, why are you dealing with the heavenly calculations? Don't get involved. Your job is to do the mitzvah of Hashem. He says to him, okay, let me marry your daughter. Yeshaya says, you cannot marry my daughter, it's too late. What does he tell him? He says, Ben Amotz, Kale He says, Thank you. Ben Amotz, finish your prophecy and leave. Leave. This is what he tells him. Why? Kach mekublani mi bet Abba. I have a tradition from my father's household. Who's his father's household? David Amelech. So he says, I have a tradition from King David. Afilu khereb chadam munachat al tzavro shel adam. Even if you have a sharp sword that's placed upon the neck of a person, Ali te'esh atzmo min arachamim. Never give up from asking for mercy. Never give up. You know, I might have said this story to you guys. It's possible. I was once in a certain shul. And in this shul they were giving out sfarim. Rav Nisim again sfarim. They were giving them out. It was a yard sign. So I had an opportunity to take a copy for myself. And I got in the car with my wife. And we were driving home. And I got a phone call from my cousin. And he said, if you're, if you're not too far, please turn back. And please get me a copy. I want to give it to someone and it might be mechazekim. Are you willing to turn back? So I asked my wife, should we turn back? She said, yes. I said, okay, no problem. We turned back the car. We went up, I went upstairs, I got the book, came back in the car. Now I'm driving on Queens Boulevard, on the one lane, the shoulder lane. And I'm pulling over, I'm coming onto the main road, the three lanes. We all know there's a fork that you, you come onto the main road. And what happens is, my wife said something to me, and it distracted me. And I turned over for a second, and I changed lanes without signaling. As I signal, guess what? I hear a siren, whoop, whoop! I was cutting off a police officer. Now this police officer, he wasn't a regular officer. Usually they say, pull over, and I'll deal with you in a minute. This guy, he wasn't, no, he was good. He rolls down the window, and he's screaming. He says, what do you think you're doing? You're coming onto my lane. Do you know how dangerous that is? And he's yelling at me. And I look at my wife. And I say, only Hashem can help us. And he says, get your license and registration ready. And I'm looking at this guy. And I look at my wife. And I said, oh no, I forgot my wallet at home. <laughs> what do you do? You forgot your wallet at home. You don't have a license, registration. Maybe I had, maybe not. I don't remember. And, he, and I told him this. I said, officer, I don't have my license. And he says, oh sir. You're going to have a good fun evening tonight. That's what he tells me. Pull over your car. So at this time, I'm taking all the stuff out of my pocket. And then I stopped for a second and I said, You know what? The police officer is a puppet. There's someone controlling him. There's a bore to this world. Why should I give up from mercy? I'm going to daven. And I said, A person who guards a mitzvah, who does a mitzvah, nothing bad will befall him. I did a mitzvah Hashem. I went back. You can get me out of this chick-chack. And I'm waiting in the car for the officer to come. And as I'm waiting, 
A few minutes go by, and the officer rolls down his window, and says, Sir, this is your lucky day. We got a completely unexpected phone call. We have to go. Have a good one. He didn't even take me out of the car. And I went home. Baruch Hashem. This is another example of Ali Ti'aisha Tzmo Mina Rahamim. You should never give up from asking. Many people, they say, I daven, and Hashem didn't give me. He didn't give me. So what's the advice? You daven again, and you pray again, and again, and again, until Hashem gives it to you. But what do you do if Hashem doesn't give it to you? What should I do? Then a person has to be a chacham and he has to know if Hashem didn't give it to me, Hashem yodea. He knows what to give and what not to give. The Gemara and Brachot, Andaf Samech says, Rabbi Akiva was once traveling and he has a donkey, he has a chick, a rooster, and he had a candle. And as he's traveling, he comes to the city and he's trying to find lodging, he's trying to find a place to sleep. No place to sleep for Rabbi Akiva, nobody lets him in. He doesn't know what to do. He knocks on one door, knocks on the second door, he says, Rabbi Akiva! Back then they didn't have advertising, they didn't have chazak, or any time, they didn't, I guess, so they, there's no place for him. What happens? Rabbi Akiva is forced to spend the night in the woods. Nobody let him in. All of a sudden a strong gust of wind comes by, and takes out his candle. And this was the candle that he was going to stay up and learn Torah with. Candle's gone. For the Chachamim, candles are very important. And his candle's gone. What are you going to do? He says, Kol man David Rahman al Everything Hashem does is for the good. He continues, all of a sudden the Gemara says, a lion came and ate his, killed his donkey. His donkey, he had all his luggage on the donkey, his donkey's dead, now he has to carry it on his back. Baruch Hashem, at least I have my alarm clock to dive in nets tomorrow morning. I have my rooster. It says a cat rolled over and ate his, killed his rooster. No more rooster. What does Rabbi Akiva say? Kol man David Rahmanal Tav Avid. Everything Hashem does is for the good. And surely, that night there was a group of bandits. They came into the city and they wiped out the whole city. And there was one survivor. Who's the survivor? Rabbi Akiva. He's sitting outside of the city. Nobody let him in the house. But what do you mean? His candle would have been on. No, his candle's off. Hashem took care of the candle. Candle's gone. Nobody can see him. But you still have a donkey that's going, bah, bah, right? Or whatever sound the donkey makes. Hashem took care of the donkey and Hashem took care of the rooster. Rabbi Akiva said, Kol man de avid rahmana le avid. Everything that Hashem does, Hashem is called Rahmana. We say in Yom Kippur, Rahmana. What's Rahmana? The merciful one. Hashem is the merciful one. He knows when to give and when not to give. He knows the precise moment to give you what you want. But the lesson is, Ali Tiyayesh Atzmo Mina Rahamim. A person should never give up from Rahamim. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.